Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Come on, let's put those hands together. Give the Lord some praise. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. How many of you are excited about Jesus on today? Amen. God is a good God, and he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Let us stand. Amen. As we prepare our hearts to go into worship today, amen, I just sense the presence of the Lord, amen, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, amen, God is a, a good God, amen, and he's worthy to be praised, amen. Let's just sing this song as we get ready to go into our praise and worship, amen, and our worship leader, prepared prepare to come, amen. Just think of these words, amen, that that is in this song, amen. It just, it, it says, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you that I love you more than anything. Come on, let's just think about that. Hallelujah. Let's say it again. I love Jesus. I worship and adore Just want to tell you
died over COVID.
We never knew that after COVID, three or two variants would come along and continue to kill people, would bring worldwide fear all over the world. In fact, we never believed and never really took into account that people would give more respect and fear and reverence to COVID than they would God. You all praying for me this morning? We find out that the world and the church itself have went into the spirit of apostasy. Apostasy means is when people or individuals or groups turn away from the principles of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You have more people now that will believe and follow the government more than they will the word of God. In fact, you have more people that believe everything that the news anchors put on television more than they do the word of God. The Bible says that we are to trust in the Lord, lean not to our own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge God and he shall direct our path. But now we're living in a time where more of the people of the Lord are not trusting in God, they're trusting in the system. Apostasy means to turn away from the truth of God's word. Amen. We have more people that believe a lie more than they believe the truth of God. We are living in an unfaithful generation. In verse 2, it says, For men shall be lovers of themselves. Let me stop right there. Lovers of themselves. That means that we are living in a narcissistic society. In fact, the Bible is speaking of, amen, we have more narcissists in the world, in our family, on the job, narcissists and and, 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 and this means that people love themselves more than anything. They only are concerned about themselves. I don't want you to look at your neighbor and ask your neighbor, are you a narcissist? Amen. But you may be in the room with a narcissist. Here it says, Amen. This unfaithful generation would be covetedness. Boasters, proud, blasphemers, as my son had mentioned and read about blaspheming against the Holy Ghost. Disobedient to parents. We have more children that talk back to parents than listen to what their parents are saying. They're unfaithful. Oh, unholy. You can buy them something and they still are not grateful for their parents. Y'all not going to say nothing today. Come on, let's give the Lord some praise for his word. It talks about they would be lovers of themselves. Everyone does that which is right in their own eyes. They have selfish motives. They only think about what is beneficial to themselves. It says that this unfaithful generation would be covetous. Those that try to keep up with the Joneses and not content or satisfied with what they have. Sometimes the people of the Lord can not really take into consideration all that God have blessed them with. If we look around and look at it, amen, we are more blessed 
now than we ever been before in our life. We have a roof over our head. We have clothes on our back. We have shoes on our feet. We have fancy, amen, of uh, 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 jewelry that we wear. We have nice vehicles to drive. We have food, amen, uh, on the table. In fact, we have, some of us, a television set in every room of the house. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing here. Yeah. Right. We are blessed. Look at someone saying we're more blessed than we ever been. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we never thought about it, amen, but we're more blessed than we ever been. Y'all yeah. ain't saying nothing here. Yeah. We can go, amen, in the refrigerator, seafood, and say, I don't want that to eat. I want something else to eat. Amen. We got a buffet right at home. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing here. We got food to eat. Amen. This unfaithful generation, the Bible says that there'll be boasters. It'll be individuals, amen, that is always bragging that they're better than someone else. This unfaithful generation, they're proud having a deep pleasure of self-achievements and having an arrogant attitude. Oh, I'm better. And, and, and you got to watch out for those that walk around with their nose stuck up in the air. Hallelujah. Y'all, amen. Don't, don't remember that old cartoon of that little dog, that little poodle, little white poodle that went around prancing that they were better than everyone else. Proud spirit, blasphemers, the act of insulting is showing a lack of reverence for God. You have people, amen, that, amen, don't have no respect for our God. Yes, amen. Disobedient to parents, not being rampant or being rampant, yes. and have no respect for their parents, not following parental instructions acting as if they know more than the one that birthed them in the world. But I, I come to find out, amen, that one day, amen, I even was one of them myself, had to go back, amen, because I did not understand what my parents was trying to tell me. But amen, when they, hallelujah, when I got older and I found out that my parents knew what they were talking about, hallelujah, along the way. Hallelujah. Thank God for our parents. Come on, let's give our hallelujah our parents and give God bless you. When your parents is gone, you wish you have someone to talk to. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I, I know that sometimes, amen, uh, parents can get on our nerves, but Amen. Celebrate your parents while you have them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Give them their roses yeah. while they can yet smell them. Yeah. Amen. This unfaithful generation will be unthankful. Yeah. No sense of gratitude. Having a mindset as if someone owes oh, yeah. them yeah. something. Yeah. Children have to realize that your parents don't owe you anything. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing here. I thought I had somebody that came to lift up the name of Jesus today. Amen. Your parents, amen, they don't went out here and they don't work dealing with these crooked and wild people on the job. Amen. Just to bring home, amen, a paycheck that is gone as right after they have cashed the check, put food on the table, paid the utility bill, hallelujah, and the children are still unthankful. All they want is more. They're unholy, they sinful, wicked, amen, loving to do bad with knowing to do good. But I come to let you know, a change is coming. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing here. Amen. Because I found out after the devil, amen, beats up on these kids, they gonna turn around sooner or later. Amen. As they, 
they said amen to us. Amen. After you hit your head once or twice, you're going to turn around and say, I might as well live on the Lord. Amen. Come on, somebody, give the Lord some praise. How now the deed? We all had to go through that. We all had to bump our head, amen, once or twice and find out that this world is not our friend. Amen. We come and we find out that there's a lot of individuals that lack loyalty. People are not as loyal as they used to be. Amen. Family is not as loyal as they used to be. Verse 3 says they will be without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good. Let me just break this down. Without natural affection, meaning they have no conscience. Acceptance of relationships as a way of society. Amen. They don't care about your relationship. Let me just tell you something. Amen. you got to be careful that the world that we're living in now, people don't care about your relationship yeah. with God. They don't, they don't care about marriage. They don't care about, amen, their marriage vows. They just want to do what they want to do. They, they're, they're, they, they, they just want to go and do, amen, whatever makes them feel good. They're truce breakers. Not, they're not keeping agreements uh, such as foreign countries and political parties. And, 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 and they, 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 they look at you right in the eye and lie to you and don't feel nothing. They, they tell you they don't have no conscience of lying back in the day. Amen. We can lie to each other. We can just look at someone and just outright lie. Amen. And we grew up with saying a lie is a lie. Sin is sin. Amen. Some people say, well, it's just a white lie. Brother, it's a white lie, a red lie, a black lie. A lie is still a lie. Bible said there'll be false accusers. False accusers meaning, amen, uh, unjustifying, blaming on the innocent people. You know, people now, they don't care. They, they'll do anything for money. They'll lie on you. And, and, and the sad thing, they can be your own family. Just like we found out, amen, this morning in Sunday school, Judas was one of Jesus' 12 disciples, and he lied on Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. You find out people will do you dirty, amen, over a little bit of money. Amen. These, amen, in his last day, they'll be incontinent, having no self-control or no strength over the body. Excessive killing in the world. We found out on the news, amen, that there's been more murders and shootings going on around us. There'll be fierce, savage like untamed animals, amen, and always ready to fight, amen. No self control. Despisers of those that are good. Amen. The all-American boy is not emulated by the radicals and immoral uh, celebrities are, but the honest, wholesome teenager is often ridiculed, yet the good is rated as the minority. It found out, amen, and I found out that the more we do good, the more we're going to be talked about. Y'all ain't going to say nothing here. Amen. The more we try to do good, amen, the more we on the, amen, the outskirts, we, we become the black sheep, amen, because we're trying to do good, amen. But the Bible says, amen, those that live godly shall suffer persecution. So who and what do the faithful or the unfaithful love? The Bible says, amen, in verse 4, that in this last day, they're going to be traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. In this modern-day society, 
Amen. They love entertainment and sex driven, amen, things in their life. Yeah. People now, they don't love God, they love church with entertainment. Yeah. You turn the lights off and dim the lights and get the disco lights going and smoke machines in churches. That's not God. That's entertainment. The priorities have been misplaced in society. It's not about God and family. It's about money and what they can get out of the world. The order of values should be God, family, and everything else. The Bible says in Matthew 6 and 30, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto thee. But now the world's view is sex, money, and drugs. Where went wrong in this life. We've come and now we found out that Christians have become more powerless in this day. They say they have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. There was a survey performed on believers that 90% of believers said, do you go to church? Yes. Do you read your Bible? Sometimes. Do you pray? Not as I should. Do you fast? Only when I got to go to the doctor in the morning. Do you believe in the Holy Ghost? Not sure what the Holy Ghost is. In other words, they appear to be godly, but do not possess any spiritual authority. We have too many actors and actresses in the church. When the music come on, they know how to pick them up and put them down. When they say worship, they know how to close their eyes and pretend to cry. Y'all ain't going to say nothing here. They have found out how to imitate church, but don't have the church down on the inside. Can I preach like I feel? But God is saying in this last day that he's looking for a real church. A church, amen, without spot or wrinkle. He's looking for the true believers in Christ. Yeah. That got God down on the inside. Yeah. Is there anybody in the house today that really loves Jesus? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So what happens when the believer has no power? Listen what it says. It says, For this sort they which creep into houses and lead silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts. We allow strangers in our homes and they take over our homes. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing here. When the believer has no power we are influenced by sinful behavior. I want to let you know, women, be aware of the attack of Satan led by some men. The reason why there's so many divorces going on is because we have no power. We're not allowing God to be God. We're not following the word of the Lord. In fact, the Bible says that when we have no power, we are lacking in wisdom. 
We go to church Sunday after Sunday. But we forever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. I don't know about you, but after a while, we should know more than Jesus well. well. Y'all ain't going to say nothing here. After coming to Sunday school, we should know John 3.16 that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Can I get a witness in the house? We got to be cautious of multiple types of Bible studies. Nowadays, everybody is calling themselves pastor. Everyone is calling themselves bishop and apostle and prophetess. Amen. You can go online and everyone has a Bible study. But no one has been consecrated, amen, to fall under a structural organization. You got to be careful about these folk going online and becoming pastors. Because you don't know how their lifestyle is. They can, amen, be living a life of Satan and preaching the word to you. They don't have any accountability to anyone. They have strange doctrines and it confuses you according to the word of the Lord. But I stopped by this morning to let you know that only the pure in heart yeah. shall see God. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing here. Yeah. Our amen theme for 2022 yeah. was being in alignment with God's word. Yeah. And all I want to tell you today is that when you line up with God's word, hallelujah, blessings will follow you. Amen. If you just stand on God's word and know that your soul will be anchored in the Lord. If you hold on to God's unchanging hand, I believe that everything is going to be all right. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you would just encourage your neighbor and tell them, hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't focus on what the devil has tried to do. Hallelujah. But know that God is going to to bring you out there. Yes, that's why I want to let you know today, amen, that as we see the evil day approaching, hallelujah, we got to understand that we cannot run with the crowd. Hallelujah. Sometimes running for God means you're going to have to run this race by yourself. Hallelujah. Everybody that says, hallelujah, Lord, Lord, is not running for the Lord. Hallelujah. But if you can just stand and, 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 and say, God, I'm on the winning side. Hallelujah. Is there anybody in the house today that found out that, hallelujah, God, I'm living. Hallelujah. To see 
Hallelujah. And I found out that, hallelujah, if I hold on to God's unchanging hand, everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and encourage your neighbor and tell your neighbor, come what may, whatever be tied, God will make a way for you if you hold on. Hallelujah. Look to the hills from which coming your help. Listen, this is what God's church is looking like in this last and evil day. 
there's not a church all over the world that has a ton of people like it used to. But what the church is looking like now is just a few folk that love God. And you know what? We are the world's example. And if we don't be the example to the world, then the world will be lost. You'll be, you, you'll be surprised. Who is watching you? Who is watching how you live your life as a Christian? Most of the time, we don't have to say anything. It's the way we live before people that makes an impact. My prayer this morning is that we be the church that God is calling for in this last year. Not narcissistic, not high-minded, not love is a pleasure, boastful and proud, but true saints of God. It's where it's none but the righteous shall see God. I want to see him in peace. And I want to say it like this, everybody's going to see Jesus, but everyone's not going to see him in peace. I want to see him in peace, and I want to hear him say, well done. Thou good and faithful servant. I want to be aligned up with his word. I want to know that when it's all said and done, I've done God's word. That's all we have, you all. If we know that we've done his word, it doesn't matter what someone say. You know what people will talk about you. Whether you do good or whether you do bad. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But as long as you do the word and you know you've done the word, that's all you got. And you know that God will be pleased. Lift those hands. Let's, let's pray. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you this morning as you have challenged us with this word. Challenge us to be faithful. Your word says, Be thou faithful unto death, and you'll give us a crown of life. So, God, we pray that you give us strength, and you will be our helper to be faithful in this world that we're living in. When so many people are turning away from you and turning away from the truth. Help us to stand on your word, to love you and love your word, oh God. Touch our mind, oh God. We pray you keep our mind in perfect peace, that our mind be stayed on you. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Come on, put those hands together for the words and praise. grateful, amen, for you ready to receive our offering, amen, good morning, sweetie.